Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Stoke Bucharest Football Manager Series. Uh, today we're going to be playing Grasshopper Zurich in the Europa League group stages in episode 8 of the Stoa Save. Now there's been a two week break between our last episode and this episode. I've been working away with work last week uh, so I wasn't able to do anything but today we're back. We want to build on our recent good form. Um, we've got quite a tough game coming up against Grasshopper so let's get into today's fixtures guys let's run the intro welcome back then boys and girls and today we're going to be playing grasshopper zurich in the europa league group stages we've been on quite a decent run of late we've strung together two wins uh, quite a big win over astra georgia with a 4-1 victory um, in the league, we then beat CS Craiova, um, who beat us in the Romanian League Cup quarterfinals uh, back in September. But we got the result over them towards the end of the month, and now we're going to be playing Grasshopper Zurich. It's going to be a tough game for us. We, uh, we lost our first game of the group stages against Athletic Bilbao, uh, a 3 2 defeat there. But I think the team is starting to adapt to the way we play. Uh, we penciled in as 5 to 4 favourites with uh, Bet 190. So let's head across into the match day settings and see how we're going to get on in this episode. So we're on the match day then people and Stoke Bucharest as I mentioned previously are 5-4 favourites here. Grasshopper Zurich at 7-4, the draw pencil in at 11-5. Uh, the Romanian football informer feel that we've got enough to see off the threat of Grasshopper Zurich. We are at the National Arena today, we're playing at home so hopefully we can get our first points of the group stages here. Uh, we're going to go into, we're not going to give any opposition instructions for this. Um, and we're just going to tell the lads, they didn't really have the effect that we wanted. So we're going to go with the usual, no pressure, um, assertive, got what it takes. Didn't quite have the effect, but we've got a bit of green in there. So let's go into the match now and let's see how we're going to get on here. Uh, that's unextended, so that's fine. So we've kicked off here and it's Adrian Popper with the ball down the wide right position. Plays it inside, goes past two, plays the ball in towards Tanase, but Conrad gets rid of the ball. Ball has gone out for a throw in here, and it's going to be uh, William with the ball to Bogdan Matreya. Heads it, but Vasic gathers the ball at his near post. Takes the danger away, plays the ball out to his centre-back, Conrad. Uh, the ball is pumped forward, but that is the end of that highlight. So we started the game quite well here. They've just had a free kick there. And it's Kim Kalstrom on the ball now. Kim Kalstrom back to Conrad. To Anderson. Anderson back to Kalstrom. Kalstrom to Anderson. Anderson gets inside. Plays in Kayo. He's up. Uh, doesn't matter. He takes a long shot at goal. But Florin Nita makes the save. And a ball is played out wide to Gabriel Anache. And that is the end of that. And it's going to be Vasic now that takes the free kick. Just outside his box. Conrad on the ball. Plays it forward to Anderson, who finds Procelli in space to Kayo. Kayo to Izaeli. Izaeli back to Kayo, but William gets the interception. Plays it to Philip, who finds Adrian Popper in space. And now Adrian Popper advances forward uh, towards the corner, but gets tackled by King Karlstrom, who finds Pulver in space. Pulver gets behind Gabriel Anache, takes a shot. Florinita makes the save, though. And we're 20 minutes into the game. It's still 0 0 here at the National Arena. And now Mom Silovic has the ball. And we've got a corner, and it's Adrian Popper whips the ball in towards Momsilovic. William picks it up on the edge of the area, goes past one, plays it out wide to Adrian Popper, who's going to whip a ball into Aganovic. Aganovic takes a deflective shot, ball goes out for a corner. And it's going to be it's going to be William with the corner again, whips in an in-swinger towards Adrian Popper, but the ball is put out for another corner. Pulver gets it away, and it's going to be Adrian Popper to take it. He's going to play an away swinger here. Adrian Popper... But Bans gets it away. But Gulabovic chases it down. A big Bosnian striker we've got. Uh, Adrian Popper now. He's got to whip a ball in. We've got three men in the box. But the ball goes out for another corner from the deflection. And it's going to be Adrian Popper to take it. And he's going to whip in another away swinger. Towards William. But Konstantin gets the ball away. Gulabovic chases it down. Makes it just in time. Plays the ball to Gabriel Nache. And that's the end of that highlight. Tabas. To Mom Silovic. Mom Silovic advancing down that left flank. Looks inside, finds William. William plays it back to Mom Silovic. Plays a lovely ball to Philip, who's in space. Takes a shot, but just over the bar. That's a good bit of play there from Stoa. We started this game well. 
We're definitely the better side at the moment. Conrad now for Grasshopper. Plays the ball forward towards Pulver, but Tamas gets in there. William plays out wide to Adrian Popper. Adrian Popper now trying to go past. Goes past their number three. Whips the ball in towards Golubovic. And Golubovic gets the ball in the net. And we have taken the advantage here. We're 1-0 up here at the National Arena. Bojan Golubovic off an Adrian Popper cross. A great start to this game. 32 minutes on the clock. Just what we wanted to see. And we're going to see that now in 3D. And it's going to be Adrian Popper. Goes past the, the left back. Past Bands. Plays the ball in towards Golubovic. On the half volley. Straight past the keeper. Nothing the keeper could do there. Good finish there from Bojan Golubovic. He's been a bit slow to come to hand for us this season so far. But he's started to hit the target a bit more recently. So fingers crossed he can become our go-to man up front. We're starting to score a few more goals. And Popper goes past Bands like he was stood still again. In towards Golubovic. And Golubovic makes it 2-0 here, guys. Bojan Golubovic with his fourth goal of the season. His second goal of the game. And we're going to be going into half-time here in great form. Popper absolutely schools Bands at left-back. Whips in across. Lovely, similar goal to our first goal. Great finish there from Golubovic. Keeper couldn't get anywhere near it. And we're just going to assertively tell the lads we're going to encourage them because they're, they're playing really well and William now has the ball to Adrian Popper takes a shot oh and Adrian Popper gets lucky with the deflection and he makes it 3-0 here his ninth goal of the season for our flying right winger a great great start to this game here guys 3-0 up here at the National Arena the Stoa Bucharest fans are going mental Conrad with diving ahead and the ball falls favourably back to Adrian Popper off towards the Ross Albastra. They're going mental. The flags are going everywhere. And we are well on top here. Uh, we don't want to give anything away in the last few minutes, though, <coughs> of the first half. And it's going to be Kayo. But he's pressured by our midfield. Bracelli on the ball. Bracelli uh, plays it into Anderson. Anderson finds Kayo. Kayo plays it into Izaeli. But... Matreya gets it away and Adrian Popper now has a chance to break and Adrian Popper down that left flank goes past number four past Bance with another bit of great attacking play Adrian Popper's going to get the ball into William and Adrian Popper oh my god that was brilliant he has absolutely schooled that left back all day long and William gets the fourth goal of the game there Adrian Popper, an electric burst of speed there plays the ball inside towards William William, I mean... Ugh. Keeper should have been stopping that, really. That was a keeper error. Pretty much an own goal, really. Um, but he looked better in the 2D, I've got to say. So, really pleased with that. I'm very pleased. Um, keep the lads focused on the game, which is what we need to do here. Um, and it's now they've kicked off, and it's Conrad to Bantz to Kalstrom. Kalstrom to Anderson. Anderson to Kayo. Kayo looks forward with the ball. Plays it towards Pulver, the number seven. And that is the end of that highlight. And Anglica, Anglica to Anderson. Anderson on the edge of the area, but Archim gets a tackle in. Kayo takes a shot. And the ball goes massively wide of goal and out for a goal kick. And we've got the ball here on the attack here on the edge of the area. And it's William Golubovic takes a shot and it just goes wide of goal. And the ball has gone out here for another goal kick to Grasshopper. We're playing really well here today. The team are in good spirits, good form. Philip heads away the corner, but Anderson chases it down. Plays it back to Barthe. Barthe to Bance. Bance out wide. He's going to look towards Pulver. He does. He finds Pulver in space, but Gabriel Anache makes the interception. Gives a poor ball away there to Kalstrom. Kayo takes a shot, gets a deflection. Pulver takes a shot. Nita with the save. Just going to slow things down now, I think. In this... Uh, Last few stages of the game. Kalstrom with the free kick. Takes a shot towards goal. Puts it over the bar. And goes out for a goal kick. We've got a free kick. And it's Adrian Popper towards Tamas. Philip Golubovic. Pulver manages to get the ball away now. And he's on the counter attack. Pulver. But Popper makes the interception. Plays the ball towards Philip. Lucian Philip to Vlad Archim. Vlad Archim out wide to Momsilovic. In a wealth of space here on this left flank. Plays it into Aganovic. But he gives it away to Izaeli. He was under pressure at the time. Anderson now plays the ball through to Pulver, but Bogdan Matreya anticipates the move and cuts out that attacking move. And we're now 62 minutes into the game. And I'm going to make a little substitution here, guys. I'm going to bring on Michal Pintili 
for Lucian Philip because he's already on a yellow card. We don't want to give anything away at this point. And do you know what? We'll leave it at that for now. And it's Carl Strong with the free kick. Nita with a good save. Cuts out the danger. And we are just going to tell the team to play at a much lower tempo now. We want to slow this game down the best we can. And we want to, we want to time waste as much as possible, really. Is Ailey on the ball? Is Ailey. Looks forward. Goes past one. Plays it to Pulver. To Kayo. Kayo with an early shot, but it hits our defender. And William now on the attack. Finds Adrian Popper. Our go-to man down that right flank. And that is the end of that. And it's Bantz with the throw into Anderson. Anderson back to Bantz to Kalstrom. Kalstrom looking around him for options. Finds Anderson. Anderson inside to Conrad, the centre-back. The ball-playing defender to Kayo. Back to Anderson. Nice bit of triangular football here being played. Izaeli now looks back to Anderson. Anderson, he's got options to his wide left if he wants them, but he doesn't. He finds Conrad. Back to Kayo. Kayo plays the ball through to Izaeli. Izaeli's going to take the shot. He gets the consolation goal. It's 4-1. So we're just going to... Just going to assertively tell the guys here to, once this replay ends, and it's Kayo to Izaeli, gets behind the last defender, takes a side-footed pass, straight past Nita, who was very slow to react, uh, couldn't get to it. So we're just going to assertively tell the lads now, we want them to concentrate, we haven't got long left in this game. Might look at making, I think I'm going to make a, a change here, I'm going to bring off Golubovic, and I'm going to stick Golubovic I'm going to stick Maniru on for Golubovic. And I'm just going to make a quick change once it allows me to. And then I'm just going to drop Maniru into the defensive mid roll. And we'll leave it as that for the last few moments of the game. Because we don't want to give this away. <clears throat> We've played really well. We've been clinical in front of goal here. Which is exactly what we want what we wanted we've started to score a bit more now you notice at the start of the series we struggled to score goals but our strikers are starting to perform and on the whole we're doing really well and we've got a nothing coming up here we've got a throw in here and it's Maniru Maniru inside to Pintilli Pintilli gets dispossessed by Kalstrom who finds Jutsi and Jutsi now finds Izaeli Izaeli looking around him for options finds Kayo and Izaeli's going to make the run and Kayo advances forward Vlad Archim is there makes the tackle plays in Aganovic on that left flank inside to William inside to Pintilli Pintilli looks forward finds Momsilovic in space is Aganovic going to go on for him he does he finds a bit of space plays it back to Momsilovic he's going to whip a ball in here towards 29 William who doesn't get to it but the ball falls to Maniru and Maniru now has the ball to Vlad Archim to Pintilli Pintilli plays the ball through to William William takes a shot hits the side netting the ball goes out for a goal kick we've only got a couple of minutes left here now guys and I think it's safe to say we have got the result that we wanted we've got a 4-1 win here over Grasshopper Zurich, which is a good result for us. Uh, we're currently sat in third in the group. Athletic Bilbao and West Ham look like they're going to grind out a draw in their second game of the, the group stages, which kind of works well for us because if we beat one of those, <clears throat> we've got every chance of getting through to the knockout stages. Um, we're just running the clock down now. We've got around 10 seconds left to go. So we're coming up towards the end of the game now. And that is it, guys. It is all over. And we have just beaten Grasshopper Zurich here. In the, champ, in the Europa League group stages. Um, I'm very pleased with that. Well done, lads. Well done. So it's good to see that <clears throat> the club is starting to perform um, for us. Uh, we've had a, quite a tough start. We haven't got much in the way of finances. We've just got 310k for that win. So that definitely helps uh, improve the budgets. Uh, so we've now got 2.6 million in the finance purse at the moment. Uh, we've made 506 grand this month. Um, so we're, we're getting there slowly. Um, we still haven't got anything to spend. Uh, we're currently overspending on the wage budget as well. So we're probably going to have to adapt a bit to that. So it's been good to be back, guys. I've been away for a little bit. I've been down at Cheltenham last week uh, for the festival, for the horse racing. But I'm back today. We've banged out this episode. This is this is episode number eight here of the series. Um, I hope you're enjoying this uh, Stow Bucharest save. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button down below. If you're new to the channel and you're a Sto Bucharest fan, let me know uh, what you think about the series. Who should I be looking to sign? Is there any good Romanian league players that we should, probably should be taking a look at that we can get on the cheap? Um, all your thoughts are very much welcomed on this series, guys. But for today, I am out of time. 
This will be episode number eight, which will be out today on Monday, the 20th of March. But until next time, guys, catch you again soon.